In my opinion, the Amex Gold is one of the best credit cards on the market with its big sign-up bonuses, great points multipliers, and a few other less talked about and sometimes hidden features. And over the past few years of using this card myself and talking about it here on my channel, I've learned a few tips and tricks to take full advantage of everything it offers to guarantee that I'm coming out way ahead of the $250 annual fee. So here's 10 things you must do right now to make the Amex Gold card worth it. Now, the first thing is simple enough, and that is to add it to both your physical and digital wallets. And that's because this is a credit card with really great points multipliers for everyday spending categories. So you wanna make sure you have easy access to it at all times. So on top of getting a base one point per dollar on non-category spend, the American Express Gold Card is best known for getting four X points per dollar at restaurants worldwide, four X points per dollar on groceries at US supermarkets, plus three X points per dollar on flights booked either directly with airlines or through Amex Travel. But it's really those food related categories to focus on the most with the gold card here because that's typically the third highest area of spending for most people in their budgets every month behind housing and transportation. So we definitely wanna maximize what we're earning here and the Amex Gold might be one of the best credit cards in the world for this. Now, personally, I just saved my card to my Apple wallet so I can easily tap to pay with my iPhone at the grocery store, but I always carry it with me in my physical wallet as well because usually at restaurants, you gotta give them your credit card when you get your bill after a meal. And a quick side note here, but I've been using the Apollo wallet from Ondar for the past few years because a lot of people ask me what wallet I'm using every day. And I really, really like this one for the quality and thin minimalist style. And I actually reached out to Ondar to see if they would be interested in partnering with me to do a giveaway. So once we hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel, very shortly here, I'm giving away 10 of these Apollo wallets. So make sure you subscribe down below if you haven't already. It's completely free and can always change your mind later. Now, after you've added your Amex Gold card to all your wallets, the second thing you must do if you just got the card and you're working towards a signup bonus is to actually track your signup bonus. And this is really important because not only does the Amex Gold card have great point multipliers, but it also consistently has some of the best welcome bonus offers out there with many people getting as much as 75 to 90,000 membership rewards points. And that's way above the typical base offer of 60,000 thousand points that I got a few years ago. Now, to get this bonus, American Express is not going to make it easy because first of all, you have to reach a minimum spend requirement in a certain amount of time. So for example, you might have to spend $4,000 on your new gold card in the first six months of card membership to get that lump sum of points deposited into your account. And second of all, currently American Express does not give you a way to track the progress with this minimum spend requirement. So here's a few tips I have. First, I highly recommend that people actually understand and estimate their monthly spending habits before applying for a card like the Amex Gold. That way you don't end up needing to overspend just to earn some extra credit card points because basically that defeats the whole purpose of what we're trying to do here. Sometimes I try to time when I get a new credit card around when I know I've got a larger one-time expense coming up like a car insurance premium, a medical expense, Christmas shopping, or something like that. That way that larger one-time expense will actually help me to easily reach a minimum spend to get a big sign-up bonus. So just know yourself and know your spending habits and then plan accordingly. Now, even though American Express does not provide you with a direct way to actually track your progress on a minimum spend, they obviously still have that information internally and will gladly provide that to you if you just ask them for it inside the chat feature through your Amex account. So you can see here that I confirmed with a rep that they do not give you a way to track it, but they still gave me an update on the remaining spend that I need to do and what day I have to complete that for with another new credit card that I just recently opened. Now, another big tip here would be to set a reminder on your phone to go off about halfway through the minimum spend time period. So if you have six months to spend $4,000, then set a reminder to go off about three months into that from the date you were approved for the gold card. And then just chat American Express to get an update on how much you have left to spend to get that sign up bonus because all those points can be so valuable and you do not wanna miss out on that because potentially that's worth thousands of dollars. Now for these next two things you must do with your Amex gold card, these are by far the easiest way to almost completely offset the 250 annual fee. So number three is to add your Amex Gold to your Uber wallet. And number four is to enroll in the dining credit inside your American Express account. So you've probably seen me and some other people online talk about how there's $240 worth of annual credits that come with the Amex Gold. So if you're already spending money on the things covered by these credits, then the 250 annual fee minus 
240 and value from the credits can make what we call your effective annual fee basically as low as $10 per year if you're getting the full value. But if you don't unlock these credits the right way, then you're gonna miss out. So to unlock the Uber credit, all you gotta do is log into your Uber account or sign up for Uber if you haven't already. Go to your account tab and then tap on your wallet and add your Amex Gold Card as a payment method. After that's done, then what's gonna happen is every single month, American Express and Uber are going to automatically load $10 of Uber cash into your Uber account, which you can then use for rides or eats. So it's kind of like a $10 monthly gift card that you're given in advance, not like a statement credit that appears on your gold card after a purchase. But just remember, this is a use it or lose it benefit. So basically, you're gonna get $10 of Uber cash at the beginning of every month, and if you do not use that, that expires after the last day of the month and will not roll over if it's not used. So just remember to use it, but hopefully you're already spending money on Uber anyway. Then for the dining credit, this works a little bit differently because what you have to do is actually log in to your American Express account, go to the rewards and benefits tab, and then go to benefits. And from there, you just have to click on enroll, which will give you access and up to $10 back as a statement credit every single month at one of six dining partners. And those dining partners are Grubhub, the Cheesecake Factory, Gold Belly, wine.com, Milk Bar, and select Shake Shack locations. So unlike the Uber credit where you get Uber cash at the beginning of every month, with this dining credit here, that's applied to your Amex Gold statement after a qualifying purchase is made on the card with one of those dining partners each month. And this is also a user lose it credit that will not roll over to the next month. So personally, I found Grubhub to be where I use this credit the most because there's a lot of options there and I get the most value from it. Now, if you're trying to weigh the cost of the 250 annual fee versus the value that you might be able to get from these credits, from a sign-up bonus, and from other points multipliers, then I highly recommend you go ahead and crunch the numbers for yourself using a cool calculator we have that I'll link to down below. And as always, we've got information about other credit cards over on this website that I'll link to down below as well. Just make sure the offers are very competitive that you're finding, but these links are always the best way to help support the channel at no cost to you. So thank you to anyone that uses them. Then next here for the fifth thing to do with your gold card is to add Amex offers, which are basically just bonus ways for you to earn more points or get more discounts with a lot of popular brands. So personally, I'm usually able to save an extra $100 or so every single year from the Amex offers on my gold card alone. But depending on your shopping habits, you could save even more. Now, all you have to do for this is just log in to your American Express account on your phone or on a laptop or something like that, and then click add an offer, and that's pretty much it. However, one problem here is there's usually hundreds of these offers, so it might not be the most efficient thing to scroll through them and then add them one by one. So what I like to do is use an extension and app called Card Pointers, which automatically adds all my available Amex offers every single time I log into my account on my computer. Then whenever I'm gonna buy something online, I just go ahead and search for available Amex offers that are added to my gold card using the Card Pointers app on my phone, or I get an alert at the bottom of a website I'm visiting and that tells me what credit cards have an offer that'll save me the most money. So if you want, then definitely go ahead and check out card pointers that I'll link to down below as well. But even if you do not have that app and extension, still make sure you go ahead and check out the Amex offers section within your American Express account because the gold card always has some very good offers that can save you a lot of money. Now for number six of the things you must do with your Amex gold, this is another way to earn a lot more Amex points that I've been using for a few years and I've talked talked about in plenty of other videos, but I'm still shocked that not everyone knows about this. So that is linking Rakuten to membership rewards. So Rakuten is basically just a cashback website that's free and really simple to use. And all you have to do is just go to their website, create an account, and then the next time you wanna buy something from one of hundreds of popular brands, just go over to Rakuten first and then click through their link. That's gonna take you over to Nike, Lowe's, Walmart, Target, and many, many other brands. Or you install their extension and then click to activate and and then when you shop online at one of your favorite stores, what's gonna happen is they will track whether or not you buy something from that store. And if you do, then Rakuten is gonna give you extra cash back on top of whatever your credit card already earns. You can even pair this with an Amex offer, which I do all the time. So one good example of this is on anniversaries or Mother's Day or days like that. I almost always find an Amex offer for something like $10 off at 1-800-Flowers.com where I can get flowers delivered to family. Plus I get anywhere from five to sometimes 20 20% back through Rakuten. So I stack those two together in addition to the base one point per dollar that my Amex Gold Card already earns. Now, the reason that I'm mentioning Rakuten here in this video a 
about the Amex Gold card is because even though Rakuten advertises that you're earning cash back, if you go into your settings, you can see that you can actually choose to earn that cash back in the form of American Express membership rewards points, which your gold card is already earning. So 1% cash back from Rakuten is really one extra Amex point per dollar or 10% cash back is really 10 extra points per dollar. And those points can be much more valuable than cash back when redeemed for travel. So definitely take advantage of this powerful combination of using your Amex gold card with Amex offers and Rakuten anytime you're shopping online. And again, I have another link to this down below that's gonna get you $30 back or really 3000 Amex points whenever you make your first $30 purchase using Rakuten. Then next for the seventh thing to do with your Amex gold card, if you're gonna be traveling somewhere and you're looking to book a hotel stay, then booking through the hotel collection with your gold card through Amex travel is a great way to unlock a really hidden feature potentially worth $100 per stay. So basically if we go to the American Express website for something called the hotel collection, this is a group of over 700 hotels worldwide that Amex selected and partnered with. These are really, really nice quality properties with good service and stuff like that. And when you book a stay that's a minimum of two nights with your Amex gold card through Amex travel at one of these select hotels, you're not only gonna get a room upgrade if available, but you also get a $100 experience credit that you can use at that property on things like dining, spa, and resort activities. I actually took advantage of this a couple of years ago for a staycation weekend in my home city of Philadelphia. So there's a bunch of hotels here that are a part of that program. And we chose to stay at the Logan, which is a pretty cool property. And then what we did was we used that $100 credit on a brunch at the restaurant that was attached to the hotel on the ground floor, which we would have gone to and spent money at anyway. So that was $100 saved super easily using this feature that's available on the Amex Gold. Now, again, you do need to stay a minimum of two nights at a property that's a part of the hotel collection and book it with your gold card through Amex Travel to qualify for this credit and a possible upgrade. So if you're traveling somewhere for the weekend and you're looking for a nice place to stay, then you might wanna consider checking out this benefit. Now next, for the eighth thing you need to do with the Amex Gold Card is to add free authorized users and refer others if you want to. So let me explain how these two things work. Now with the Amex Gold, you're allowed to add up to five additional authorized user cards to your account for free. So you could add your spouse, your partner, your kids, or really anyone else you want to as authorized users. So this could be a good feature for families where, for example, if I was married with kids, I could give my wife access to make purchases with an additional gold card. I could give my kids authorized user cards if they're 13 or older where they can actually start to build credit too. And then all those cards could earn 4X on dining and groceries and 3X on flights and accumulate those points under my one primary Amex gold card. So again, that's great for families that want to keep things organized and stuff like that. However, if you truly do plan to use both the Uber and dining credits, which are only available to the primary card holder, and you don't mind paying two annual fees, then you and your wife, husband, or partner as the heads of a family could potentially both get the Amex Gold. Then you'll get two $10 Uber credits and two $10 dining credits between the both of you. Now, what I would recommend here is sort of a two-player strategy where a player one gets the Amex Gold card and earns a sign-up bonus, and then that person sends a referral link to a player two where they also sign up to also get a sign-up bonus, but then player one earns an extra bonus for referring player two. And American Express is always advertising these refer friend programs to get new customers in the door. So go check that out by logging in to your Amex account because I think right now you can earn up to 100,000 bonus points per year if other people sign up using your link. Now, don't just try to sell this card to people that won't actually get good value from it. So use your referral links responsibly. But if referring someone makes sense and both you and the other person are gonna get good value from it, then it's definitely an option that's worth looking into. Then next here for thing number nine to do with your Amex Gold is to see if you qualify for a lower annual fee. And I've talked about this before, but I wanted to bring it up again here because this could potentially save you money on the $250 cost. So first of all, if you're an active duty member of the US military, then American Express should be waiving your annual fees if you already have this card or if you're considering it. And this is due to the way that Amex looks at the Service Members Civil Relief Act and the Military Lending Act. So if you are active duty, then make sure you're not getting charged the 250 annual fee by sending American Express a message. But for many of you that watch my channel who serve in the military, I know this is a great benefit that a lot of you really enjoy having. Now, second, if you have an American Express corporate card through your employer, then you should be eligible for a personal card annual credit on select Amex cards, including the gold card. And basically that reduces the out-of-pocket cost of your annual fee. So for the Amex gold, that credit is supposed to be for $100 per year, which brings down your effective annual fee from 250 down to 150. Now, one note here that I don't think I mentioned before, but 
when reading what Amex says on their website, it seems like this is for people who confirm their eligibility by entering in their corporate card number on the American Express website. And then they basically receive a special offer to apply for a new Amex Gold card with this recurring $100 credit. But I've also seen plenty of people that already have the Gold card and a corporate card that just messaged American Express and then asked about this credit and then they had the credit applied to the active account. So your mileage may vary, but definitely ask about this benefit or look into this for yourself if you already have a corporate credit card through Amex. And then the third way to potentially lower your annual fee is by asking for what's called a retention offer. If you have the gold card, but you don't think you're getting that much value from it and you're considering closing the account. So instead of closing the card, once you see that annual fee get posted, just message American Express to explain that you don't think you're really getting that much from this card and you wanna see if there's any retention retention offers available. What they might do because they don't wanna lose you as a customer is they might offer you some sort of a statement credit or some bonus membership rewards points. Basically, if you just keep your account open and pay your annual fee again, and this might not always work, but just like anything else in the credit card world, it never hurts to ask because the worst thing they can do is say no. Now for the 10th thing you must do with the Amex Gold Card, that is gonna be to redeem your points for travel, which is a big thing we talk about all the time here on this channel. And that's because so many people have the Amex Gold and they earn a ton of points with this card. However, what they do is they turn around and redeem those points in the worst ways possible, where sometimes they're actually getting less value from the points earned on this card compared to what they could earn from just some basic no annual fee credit card that earns cash back instead. So what you wanna do is learn how to transfer your points out to one of the many travel transfer partners, where for example, instead of paying 200,000 Amex points for a $2,000 business class flight inside the Amex portal at a value of one cent per point, maybe you could find the exact same flight by transferring 50,000 points directly to one of those airline partners instead. So that would be 50,000 points for a $2,000 flight at a value of four cents per point compared to 200,000 points for a $2,000 flight at a value of one cent per point. Now, I know this sounds confusing, but I promise you it's not when you just learn some basics about how this all works. So go check out my full guide on how to redeem Amex points for max value in this video over here next. But as always, thanks for watching.